All right. And does that have a, uh, what do you call it in there? A what? An edit program? No, I'll download it to the computer, then edit it. Okay. All right, so. What are you doing? We're recording. That's what we're doing. We're recording right we're, now. Right now. We're Without recording. looking, we're going to do this blind. That's how we roll. Okay. I'm Angel Mar I'm Philip <laughs> This is Angel Martinez. That's me. And we've already had a couple of glasses of this because we can't get the, the, the video to work. work. But anyway, if it is working, and we're going to test it out in a couple minutes, this is what we're drinking today. Uh, it is a uh, Chateau Gazin from the Pomerol region of Bordeaux, France. And uh, we, 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 we're in France. All right. And, and what is it that the uh, honeymooners always say about this? Oh, it, in the words of Pierre Francois de la Brioski, Les plumes chante les fontaines. <laughs> Whatever that is. Now, let's try it again. Is it recording? I think it's this recording. This is take 277. We're having video issues here. Very much so. <laughs> but we're the wine guys. Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's see if that worked. All righty. All right. Let's give it a whirl. All right. You think we're good? We're not cut off or anything like that? I think we're good. You sure? No. <laughs> All right. So why don't we just... Are you recording right now? Yes. I'm All recording right, right now. Off. Yes. Okay. You very good. Like lean in. We got it. All right. I don't have to lean in. We're okay. All right. All right. So, anyway, uh, we had a little bit of problems with the video, but uh, just in case I didn't catch this the first time around, where I can cut and paste, uh, we are drinking uh, the Chateau Gazine from Pomerol. This is a uh, Burgundy, I mean, a uh, Bordeaux region of France. There you go. Wee oui, wee. Oui. We're in French. He, uh, our boy here, this is Angel Martinez. Oh, I'm Angel Martinez, and this is? Philip Muccio. How come I got your name, but you didn't get my name? But that's okay. It's all right. Anyway, we have a fabulous bottle of wine for you today. Uh, Angel was able to uh, secure this wine. And um, what is the uh, varietal on this, Angel? Oh, uh, this is uh, like a 91% Merlot and 9% Cabernet Sauvignon. All right. And I did a little research on this, and this is a very limited... Um, um, yeah, how many... How many cases or bottles? Less than 100,000 bottles produced a year, well, in any given year. And so. it's probably because Pomerol is probably one of the smaller regions of wine producers in that area. You are correct, sir. So, you are anyway, correct. but uh, this is uh, one of the newer release, 2000. And, uh, 20, 2020. 2020. 2020. And, yeah. And so we're up. Uh, we're going to go ahead and taste this, and we're going to cheers, and we'll All go right. ahead and give you some uh, feedback on this one. All right. Wee oui, wee. Oui. All right. First of all, right off the bat, the colors are unbelievable. A deep ruby. Deep. A clear, bright, reflective colors on this mm -hmm. one, for sure. It is indicative of, uh, oh. you know... Uh, wine from that region mm -hmm. it is just beautiful color on this and, one and it actually was a blessing that we had a little bit of problem with the video because if this is give it a chance to air out this has been open now for about 45 minutes and yeah. i gotta tell you this has really it, it opened up a really little bit opened it up i mean it's still a young wine because you know uh, the bordeaux wines especially this uh, uh brand here mm -hmm. this you can sell her this for 10 years easily yeah. and uh and it probably I, be peaking at se after seven. I think, um, and we did already take a little taste. We are going to take it a little bit more. But I think this was at about a 90. Uh, and um, I think we're lucky that we're even being able to taste this right now. Because in a couple of years, if you have the wherewithal that you could buy a few of these bottles and lace them down. I have the 2019. This will be a, so we'll a be 90. Able to do a this this will be a 95 easy in a couple yeah. of years it's it's fantastic now last year a lot of the bordeaux region wines were a little heat there was a lot of uh a lot of alcohol on a lot of the bordeaux region ones this one here is still a little bit higher than usual but um i gotta tell you it's pretty well balanced alcohol uh fruit and the tannins on this is actually pretty pretty darn nice yeah this is a 14 and a half percent alcohol Oh, which chances are it's probably a little bit higher than that. You know what? You could almost but, not tell. Um, 
that the reason why is because it's so well balanced. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, so I mean, it's a fresh ripe fruit, a fresh acidity to it. It's a beautiful finish on this. Yeah, this is actually a pretty dark, you know, phenomenal I mean, bottle uh, wine. Uh, I don't what, use this term often, but it is like velvet. It is. The texture on yeah. your tongue. And it's, it's still really tight, delicious. though. I mean, it's, yeah. it's still a little tight. I mean, you can tell mm. that it'll just soften in time. But uh, oh my God. definitely the potential on this is just... Uh, I am so glad you were able to get this bottle. <laughs> yeah, you know, I... Uh, uh, fortunate enough that uh, when you're in the industry, you kind of get a chance to uh, go through it. I don't mind. I have a little bit more. Go ahead, my man. So go. now, um, I, you know, what kind of foods would you pair this with? Oh. I mean, I, I already know what I, my first. This would definitely go with classic uh, meat dishes. We're talking bone-in ribeye, uh, duck, uh, any kind of goose, turkey. Uh, for people who want to go with a seafood fare, tuna, nice meaty tuna, swordfish. Really? Yeah. I would have this never would, thought that. Yes, it will. Uh, me, it'll, I would just go, like a piece well of beef. It. It'll, go, it'll go well with this. Yeah. Lamb, this would go great. Lamb, with I would go lamb with. Lamb asabuco or pork asabuco. Yeah. All right. Something that's going to cut through the fat uh, from the um, on the beef and those items like that. Now, for you vegetarians, uh, you could go with mushrooms. You could go with uh, risotto, mm. a nice mushroom risotto. Oh, mushroom risotto. <laughs> Correct. That's, that's exactly right. It is. Uh, what did you say? Mushroom or risotto or a mushroom risotto? Or a mushroom risotto or a nice pasta dish. This would certainly go well with one of my favorite pasta dishes, a pappadella with wild boar. Uh, oh, game. game. Yeah, oh, God, a yeah. game, absolutely. Yeah. This would be good with the game meal. And if you're going to do cheese with this, mm -hmm. all right, certainly brie, certainly cabernet, uh, ca uh, cabernet. Uh, but I would also do some of the blue cheeses. Roquefort. Uh, you can also do a good, ripe English Stilton. Yeah. A little bit of, little I bit of see smell that. on it, but I'm telling you, on the cracker and that, this would go fantastic with it. Yep. I agree. Oh, yeah. um, totally. Anyway, um, I think that's all we have right now, right? I don't know. The uh, opening was uh, a lot longer than what we're doing right now, but, you know. <laughs> the uh, I, th I think we take a little bit of time just to let everybody know that... Uh, uh, we are part of the American oh, Wine Society. Yeah, let's cover that up. Yeah. The Meadowlands chapter. Yeah, we're such right? novice. I always forget about yeah. these things. Uh, we're, for we're learning me here. on track. Uh, but uh, in future episodes that we're going to be putting out. All right? Yeah, let's have uh, some of our members We're going to have some us. of our members join us. So we got the regional vice president of the AWS is going to join us. Yep. Uh, the owner of Make Wine With Us of the winery, yep. uh, is going to join us uh, and uh, we'll be able to give you more information on how for you to enjoy wine and a little bit of food and amongst uh, above anything else. What's that? Just to have a good time, have a little bit of wine with some people you like. Some people you barely like, but some <laughs> or tolerate <laughs> or tolerate. Yeah, there you go. You know, but uh, anyway, uh, you enjoy and you have a good time and you have a little bit of wine because life is too serious for everybody. It's good to just relax a little bit. All right, are you done? I I think I'm done. And yeah, to you, honeymoon. I was, was, was going to bring out the violin. Yeah. But. Well, listen. If it was the honeymooners, I would yeah. go and get the pitch pipe and we'd sing a song. But that's that's a story for another day. But yeah, anyway. what about the honeymooners? <laughs> well, what about the honeymooners? Yeah. There's nothing wrong with them, you know. <laughs> it's a very amusing little bottle of wine we have here. <laughs> that's right. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, anyway, we hope you enjoyed this uh, this video. Uh, please uh, put comments in. Let us know what you think. Okay. Uh, only good comments because I don't take criticism that well. Uh, but <laughs> I'm only kidding. But anyway, if you get a chance to buy this wine, do so. We recommend it wholeheartedly. Yep. And uh, but if you do buy it, uh, make sure that you store it for at yes. least a couple years, and you will see that this is going to be a very nice. Well, if you can, do do Phil's two two rule of thumb. What's that? Buy two, drink, drink one, one now. with a friend. Put one away. I guess. And they, I guess that might help.
Well, it depends if you're friends with them. You know, so, <laughs> all right, my man. All right, well, I I guess I am out of here. So I'll see you later, Gators. All right, and uh, take care. Salute and cheers. God cheers. bless. Oh, here we go. There Ooh, you go. I almost broke the glass. I know, and it's not your glass; it's mine. <laughs> all right.